Hello everyone, it's Jim Bob here and today I will be showing you how to make a redstone lighting system inside your house, completely automatic, all you have to do is press a button and the entire ceiling switches itself out. So let's have a look. So here I have built a small test house. Pretty simple, just some chests, crafting tables and some furnaces and a little button over here. So if we press that, the actual block in the ceiling is switched out for glowstone. We press it again and it's switched back. This is very easy to make and pretty simple in a survival world so it's a great addition to your home. Let's look at how to make it. Here's how to make it. It needs very few things and very easy to get. Here's what you'll need. You're going to need one sticky piston. The only hard thing here is probably the slime balls. But if you're pretty good in survival, that's pretty simple. As well as that, you'll need two pistons, the easier version of the sticky piston. Two repeaters, simple. Five redstone torches, even easier. Two redstone dust, well, that's just easy. One roof material. For the roof material, make get one that matches your material. So mine's birch, and I punched out this center block in preparation. As well as that, you're going to need one glowstone block. Very easy, just head down to the nether. A button and seven building blocks. Of course, I'm going to use blue wool. Let's get started. So as you saw, I have one block punched out here. The next step is to place a button on the inside. This is going to be your button that's going to move them around. So place this somewhere where you'd like it. Make sure you remember where it is. I remembered that mine is in the middle of this T-shape made out of birch planks. On the back of the block with the button, place a redstone torch. Then above that, place some light blue wool. On this, you're going to put a redstone torch and on that another block of wool. This is vertical transmission. What that means is that basically you're getting a signal from the button and you're putting it through these torches and getting it up higher off the ground in as small a space as possible. From the vertical transmission place down two redstone dust. This will connect the signal to our mechanism. For the actual mechanism start by placing three blocks in a line like so. Make sure this is on the torch side of the hole. Then, place diagonals on either side of it. That's all the blocks we're going to need. Now, let's put in the redstone torches. One goes here, and one goes on the opposite side. Then, place another one in the center. Lastly, put a repeater on either side. That should turn off these torches. Next, we're going to put in the pistons. This is what's going to make the whole thing move, and swap the block in and out. So to start, place a block above the torch and another forward. Now from underneath this block, you need to put a sticky piston that should then extend down into the ground. Next, on the inside of your house, place a block that goes flush with the ceiling. Now it looks completely normal. Lastly, we're going to put a piston here. That should extend. And here, here's our last point. It's probably the most important. You'll notice that if you do the same thing on the other side, they're both extended, and we have no room for this glowstone block. So, what you have to do is put your glowstone block and then a piston. If you come into this problem where it's extending and you can't place the glowstone, just destroy the piston, place the glowstone, and then put down the piston. That is it, so now let's test it out. There you go, we have our glowstone block swapping in and out in order to replace this roof and add some light to our room. We can also turn it off and back on again. And as that's it, there you have it. That's how to make a simple light system that looks pretty cool. Thank you for watching. If you learned something, make sure to give a like and subscribe. If you didn't, well, maybe look at some of my other videos so you learn something there. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll have more coming soon. Thanks for watching.